with breathtaking views of the Caribbean Sea in one direction and majestic mountains in the other, Bengal Cove Villas combines tropical luxury with tranquility and sophistication all in one stunning location. This is The Listing. I'm Angel Alicia. This property is developed for those who are seeking to balance a successful career with the joy of luxurious living. Now let's transition from the outside to the interior of this property. And I can't help but notice the attention to detail. Now you know we love a great door design and this door did not disappoint. Not only is it massive, but it makes a statement of security and comfort while you're inside your home. It also gives you a sense of the theme, modern and contemporary. I love this black finish that is so sleek, but perfectly complemented by the chrome handles and the chrome inserts. This door is making a statement. And as we move to the inside of the home, we come against the staircase. Now we see that chrome feature continue with the glass panels, creating an unobstructed view. But I would also like to mention the dark stained staircases, breaking up that monotony of modern, white and contemporary. Now let's head into the living room. Not only is this space expansive, but I love the neutral color palette of the white. It gives you the opportunity to create your own vibe and your own expression in this space. Now to break up this white, I would add some color through a plush L-shaped sectional. That would work perfectly with cushions and a throw, bringing in some texture into the space as well, but also being anchored on a rug along this white porcelain tiles. Now we move from the living space and we come into a little nook which you could use as a counter space whether for homework, for having a drink, for entertaining. I see us putting probably an espresso, a warm chestnut color here. You could do buffets if you were to have persons here for entertaining and you have a perfect view of your pool outside from standing right here. Now our dining room could seat six, eight, even 10, depending on how you want to lay this out. Now I would continue that modern feel with metallics in my dining room chair, whether through the legs or the top of the dining room table. But if you also wanted to bring warmth in, we could do a walnut dining table to give that earthy feeling and matches the lush greenery just on the outside. Now head with me to the kitchen. The focal point of this kitchen is the waterfall edge island with the quartz countertop. The bold lines add such visual interest and movement in the countertop. And it's perfectly placed for this farmhouse sink as well as this high arched faucet. It gives industrial chic, but so useful and durable. I love the seamless mix of colors in this kitchen and how even the metallics blend so well with the palette. Loving these sandstone tones cabinets with no handles giving a sleek finish to this kitchen. And there is just so much storage. As you move across, you see that there is space for all the latest appliances. But for me, I will ensure that the appliances go with the tone and mood of the kitchen because it does create symmetry. And as we move across, we recognize that there is also a pantry. Now, if you're going to do a kitchen well, you need to ensure that you have everything you need to whip up a meal at a moment's notice. And this pantry gives you the space for all of that. Now, 
Let's head to the other parts of this beautiful home. I'm sure you'll have no complaints walking out to your private pool deck with this beautiful water feature. Whether on a sunny afternoon or in the cool of the evening, this is the perfect place for ease, relaxation, and enjoying tropical luxury. Now, if you're about balance and productivity, I know the perfect person to guide us in a conversation of making your life perfectly balanced. Stacey Hines, my friend, Lady Boss, Hi. and the queen of intentionality. <laughs> Hello, my love. How Hi. are you? It's so good to see you. Wow, this pool though. Wow. This wow. is amazing. What would you do out here? Well, first things first, I would be entertaining. <laughs> yeah. I would have friends over. Mm -hmm. I would also want my own quiet time. Mm -hmm. You know, have my own little personal spa moment. I think so ease and relaxation. This is sure. the perfect place for that spa Absolutely. moment. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But this house has so much more to offer. So let's head inside. I can't wait to see. And we're about to have the time of our lives today. But but first, we have to start everything with intention. So I'm going to invite you yes. to pull an intention card. Get this one here. And it says, I celebrate my body. Oh, yeah. I elevate my mind, body focus and pay attention to my health so that I bring the best version of my physical being to my daily experience. Oh, nice. Let's head inside. <laughs> brings us such ease and balance in its design and layout. What are, your, sure. what are your thoughts? Well, initially when I walked in, I was getting very much a uh, almost hard contemporary edgy vibe. Yes, but, very modern. Yeah, very modern. But then there are so many different elements that speak to having a balanced experience. Yes. I, I love the way that modern contemporary is, is meeting that kind of easy balance. And zen. Like, yeah, that zen mm -hmm. feeling. And I think it's because of the surrounding space. Yes. So really jamming with it. Like it. Nice. Mm -hmm. So let's head to the bedroom. Okay. And I want to talk about how you're going to create your own sanctuary mm -hmm. in a space like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For sure. Exactly. <laughs> This is wow. beautiful. Oh, I think wow. the thing that stands out to me yeah. is just how much light yeah. is in this space. I think that's because of all the windows mm -hmm. and the glass door leading out to the balcony. This yes. space is so well lit and you want that for your bedroom. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you create your own sanctuary in a space like this? How, what would Stacy do? Well, first of all, <laughs> we would be thinking about the bedroom before we even buy the property yes. because we would want to be intentional about how we want our bedroom experience to feel yes. because that's really where everything starts, mm -hmm. right? And then when I start to now look, I'm going to look for openness. Things that create yeah. that exactly. Vibe. Things yes. that are going to give me access to that. Yeah. The care and the caress and the luxury also comes out in scents. So mm. I definitely have a candle yeah. right by my journal, mm. right by my intention cards yeah. to create that mood. Absolutely. <laughs> and there is nothing that speaks to romance more than candlelight, right? So. Let, let, <laughs> you yes, tell me, girl. <laughs> there is a view that's absolutely mm -hmm. breathtaking and we're about to see it. The balcony. Absolutely breathtaking from every direction. Wow. Let's just pause to take this all in. You could 
start your day here and you could end your day here. I love the lush greenery. I love the colors of nature, the views of the Caribbean Sea. It defines tropical luxury. It defines island living. Absolutely. The breeze mm. and, and listening to the birds. Yes. First thing in the morning, it's actually one of the things I like doing now. It's just listening to the life around me. Yes. And being able to do that on this balcony <laughs> is priceless. Priceless. It's the stillness of the nature for me. It's busy all around, yeah. but stepping out here is almost like a different realm. Yes, absolutely. And I could see myself having a nice hammock kind of chair in the corner. Uh, maybe a little table to place my wine glass. <laughs> yes. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. At at the the end morning, of the day. Right? <laughs> to just have a little sip and wine down, you know? Lovely. Yeah. I think this is also a great space for planning mm. because you're so inspired by everything else that's going on around you. You could sit down, you could vision, you could dream mm -hmm. and take note of the things that you want to. But in terms of architecture, the space actually transforms with the tiles that mimics the ground, mm -hmm. this earthy brown color. Yes. I love that it gives a clear separation from the bedroom to the balcony. Yes, I like what you said about the inspiration and feeling inspired because ultimately that's what you want in the morning time so when you think about the beginning of the year and starting your year out on your balcony maybe with your your partner you're having a moment together with your coffee and your planner and your yes, journal yes. I appreciate too that the glass paneled balcony creates a seamless view it's almost as though it doesn't break you from experiencing what's happening in nature and the space and the space i love this amount of space you actually get off the bedroom yes which is and doesn't take away from the size of the primary but yes it's it's absolutely stunning in so many ways but this primary bedroom also offers an ensuite and two closets stacy let's go have a look yeah closets for me please <laughs> Yes. Oh, nice. yes. Yes. Yes to Ooh, this bathroom. Yes. <laughs> Immediately, I love a bathtub. It says relaxation, mm -hmm. ease. And it's kind of set up like that where it is its own feature. Yes. Really yes. nice. Its own spot. Mm -hmm. And I love that we have the duality of a standing shower yeah. as well. Also in this bathroom, there's such natural light, such bringing the outside in. I love that seamless. And windows that you can open. Yes. Because you do have some bathrooms that the windows are there, but you can't actually open oh, them to allow fresh air in. I love when you have a bathroom that allows fresh air to actually come inside. Come inside, yes. Mm -hmm. What I find as a feature that's emerging more in new developments is a water closet. So you actually have a space with a door for the toilet. What do you think of that in spaces like these? Absolutely necessary, especially when you are a couple mm -hmm. and you are sharing space. Like you can go to the bath and do <laughs> your business while I do mine over here. Yes. Absolutely yes. necessary. So well, I love that progress. That I love made. that. One thing for sure though that makes that easier is having an extractor. Yes. In that space. If you don't very, have very a important. Window. You don't if you have don't a window, have a window, make sure you have the extractor. There's also a space just in this corner. I could see shelving here, whether you want to do linen, whether you want to do decor. What's your vibe? My vibe would be plant life. Mm -hmm. So I love to actually bring nature into the home space and bathrooms are actually really great places for indoor plants to thrive. Yes. So having a nice potted plant in the corner. In the corner. Yes. Really great way to sit in the tub and just kind of soak it all in, look at your plant, read a book. Yeah. That's this is moment. giving that relaxation, that easy stepping away from the world and having your own sanctuary in this space. And feeling that sense of balance come back. Yes. After yes. a busy day. Yes. The ceiling to floor, pristine white, continues in this ensuite, which is a theme that we're seeing in this unit today. And it creates the perfect canvas for your creative expression, for your personality to come out, and for you to create the vibe that you want in your home. Now, one thing that stands out to me are these vessels. In this bathroom, I feel like it really does bring that pop of personality. Absolutely, I actually really love 
having a double vanity. Yes. And I think that the way that this is done with the clean lines it makes it really, really, really beautiful. Really sleek, really modern. And I love how we've started mixing metals. We have the chrome faucet, but then we have that gold insert, which is absolutely beautiful. Now in this bathroom, we, we also have a pop of color, but I feel like it's a very muted, tranquil pop with the navy blue cabinets. It actually anchors the space really, really well. Really, really beautifully. Now from this bathroom, let's head to the closet. What immediately impresses you? The space. The space, yes. This is amazing space. For all my shoes. For the shoes, the bags, the gowns everything absolutely i think i'd have to probably fight with my partner about <laughs> who would actually get this side versus the other the other side yeah. that's one of the things i love too it's a walkthrough closet with two sides mm -hmm. so you get to choose i think i i know which side i'll have and i love the built-in yes i think that helps to organize it helps to keep everything tucked away i like that it actually doesn't go all the way to the ceiling yeah. Because it leaves space for your luggage, for example, I find that is also a, a spot that we never really know where to put them. So true. And, and so they end up under your bed yeah, where you it should be. You don't think about it until you need it. Until you need it, yeah. This mirror too, that's a smart mirror. I think mm. it's a, a, a fantastic addition to this room. Absolutely, and as a woman in tech, mm -hmm. anything smart these days where you can actually say, Alexa, make me look pretty. <laughs> works for me yes there are mm -hmm. also some tech features in this home with the smart lock doors mm -hmm. which i think is making its entry into homes more and more what other tech do you use at home well with the internet of things there are lots of different ways that appliances have been enhanced so now your refrigerator can actually say to you hey you're running out of tomatoes or mm -hmm. you're low on your water or your favorite juice yes. i like little things like that smart ac controls yes when it gets a little too hot and you really need to cool down I, I, I love that too. I love that I can tell my AC what time to turn on so that when I'm home, it's already cool. Absolutely. And let's not forget security systems. Security yes. systems are also really smart where you can now have the video doorbell and you can mm -hmm. actually see who's approaching your home without even being there. Love that. Love that. <laughs> now, from this closet, we also know that it's not all play. There is work too. This unit has a home office with a balcony that we're about to take a look at. You could easily use your calendar plus a journal in that necessary time to get your day started. Bengal Cove Villas combines tropical luxury with tranquility and sophistication we're now in this unit, home office, and this space gives such life. It's airy, it's bright, yeah. the sun is shining through the windows, mm -hmm. and so much storage too. Oh. I love the storage. It's one of my favorite features about this space because I read a lot. So I love digital, audio, and the actual physical books. I would need some place for that. And for somebody with children, as you go through the various stages, you have books, you have artwork yeah. from all those projects. Yeah. I think it's a great space to put those away as well. Absolutely. And to also support their homework. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. This space also works for content creation. When I come here, it's not just Zoom meetings and webinars, which it's ideal for, but I think if you have a podcast, yes. this would be a beautiful spot for that. Absolutely. And my podcast, The Balanced Lady Boss Show, we actually talk about where you work in your home. We talk about creating more balance mm -hmm. in your home space. And so actually utilizing a space like this, you could showcase that kind of conversation to see how you create the separation between being a boss yes. at home, yes. right? <laughs> and then stepping away from that to being a boss in the bedroom with your kids mm -hmm. all over. Yes. Now, just outside the home office is a balcony. I think it's such a beautiful space for community, for entertaining. Yes, I love how expansive it is mm -hmm. and the views that you get from outside. 
breathtaking and spectacular. you get air coming in from the balcony right in this space so it makes you want to sit and do work <laughs> yeah it's also very cool yeah you know you definitely don't need air conditioning in this space which could be a little cost saving for you absolutely but certainly if you want to have people over for wine for reading for going through it your their intention cards absolutely this is a beautiful space to do that yes and you could sit outside have some really nice lounge chairs and set up an evening with your candles lit and just pull cards talk about the intentions you have for your life or you could just use them as a way to ice break and create ice conversation break and create conversation one thing that's missing a lot in community now is just conversation let's just sit and talk yes yeah get off our phones and get off our phones <laughs> this space is absolutely perfect for that when you're getting ready to start your work day it's actually not a bad idea to get your mind centered and focused around work yes. so using a journal to actually sit down and think about what you want to achieve for yes. the day it's yeah. a really great way to start off one thing i find very helpful and, and guides my productivity are to-do lists mm -hmm. so i think one of those acrylic calendars with either your weekly to do or your yes. monthly planning would be nicely put in this space. Yes, and you could easily use your calendar plus a journal mm -hmm. to spend that necessary time to get your day started. And also at the end of the day, you just look back and say, well, what did I achieve today? Yes. Did I get yes. through all my goals? Yes. So that you prepare yourself for the next. Love that. Mm -hmm. Stacey, thank you so much oh. for coming. You're so welcome. It was my pleasure. I think it was beautiful. When are we meeting up again? I think next time we should do tea. I'm, I'm loving the tea. Awesome. I'm loving the tea. There is so much more to see in this home. Can't wait. of the opulent corridors of Bengal Cove Villas concludes and we're left with a feeling of undeniable allure. Until we open the doors to another exquisite property, this is the listing. I'm Angel Alicia.